Hello there, this is a brief guide on how I'm painting my Legion of the Damned Razorback. Uh, this is the flame effect. Um, I'm going to be using Vallejo paints. Uh, what you're aiming for here is to avoid bright reds. Unless you're doing a real comic style or American Hot Rod style flame or anything chemical fire related, you're not going to get a bright red in there. So you'll be moving straight from a dark red onto a hot orange. I'll show you the colours I'm using as I go. The first thing you'll notice is there's already a, um, a fairly dark, rich red in place. This was done with an airbrush. Um, this is mainly because it's a large area. You can do it just as easily with a brush, as long as you thin it down and um, apply it carefully. That colour is... This one. The next colour you're going to be applying is uh, Vallejo Hot Orange. That one there. I've already thinned the paints down ever so slightly. This just helps it flow and helps you move it around while it's on the model. And what you're looking to do is build up from the bottom edge on everything. Try and keep your brush strokes fairly fluid, fairly free, and moisten the end of your brush quite often. Try it and get your colour towards the bottom edges and more dense around any um, recesses in the model. Any way that you can imagine a piece of metal getting hot and glowing. And you can see I'm dabbing here. If you look at a flame, anything substantial, you're going to have little particles floating that are glowing. And that kind of simulates that. Right. Once you're happy with that colour, it's literally a case of moving on to the next one. For that, I'm going to be using this, which is Vallejo Orange Fire. You can use any colours you want to, really. Um, yeah, you know, if you want something for chaos, green, purples, pinks, anything. But try and keep the colours related. And what you're doing again here is keeping towards the bottom edge. As you get brighter through the colours, move more into the centre of the flames, and more down to the bottom. If you look at a natural flame, a candle, anything, you'll notice it gets brighter as it gets towards the centre. At this point you can start sort of working on creating little peaks. And again, I remind you, just try and keep your brush fluid and work the paint while it's on the model. Keep it wet and just keep moving it around. Okay, next colour. For this I'm going to be using Vallejo Golden Yellow. It's around this point where you need to start thinking that your flames are going to be reflecting on any edges that protrude. So you can start just sort of stroking the edges here, building those up. It just creates a nice reflective effect and um, adds to the whole thing. Just keep building up colour until you're satisfied with the effects. I don't know if you can see there, but I'm just getting right into that corner, creating almost a, a solid line of the gold yellow. Okay, 
finally, moving on to our brightest yellow. Certainly the brightest one I'll be using for this, which is Vallejo Sun Yellow. Again, keep your paint thinned down slightly. And what you're looking to do is just almost dab it along the bottom edge of the area you're working on. And in the recesses. A little bit of water at this point is helpful because you can just moisten the end of your brush and dab the colour out a little. It's always nice to work on the surface of the model with this because you're not looking for a smooth blend, you're looking for a fire with burning particles, reflected surfaces. And you're starting to get the the real shape of it there now. Something you might notice when you look at a flame is right at the very heart of it you'll find a transparent area which looks darker. Something you can do if you want to is right at the very base touch some dark colour back in. Very gently just blend it back into the the surrounding yellow. And that gives you the basis of how it works. And what I'm going to do now is look over this like anything you're working on. Look at it, give it five minutes, come back to it. And if you want to make it a little bit brighter, you can. I mean, looking at this now, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, that needs a little bit more. So I'm just going to use the top two shades of the yellow and just add a little bit more in. But the trick with things like this is just keep working it until you're happy with it. And once you reach upon me happy, don't mess with it anymore. There you go. Hope that's helpful.